million times. It shows a woman who was born deaf hearing her voice for the first time. Take a look. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, it's exciting. Here, you can put it down for a second. Just get used to the sound. <laughs> what does it sound like? 29-year-old Sloan Cherman from Texas wept, as you can see, as she realized she could hear herself and everything else for the very first time. Now, the procedure Sloan had is so delicate, mm -hmm. only about seven surgeons in the country are qualified to do it. One is right here in Metro Detroit. Just a remarkable surgery, offering hope for people suffering severe hearing loss. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show us what makes it so special. After seeing hundreds of new procedures, I'm not easily impressed with surgery, but I've got to tell you, this is one of the most delicate, amazing procedures I've seen. It is a totally implantable, practically bionic alternative to a hearing aid. Now, before you see the surgery, I really want you to appreciate how small everything is. This is one of the actual tiny bones of hearing that the surgeon works on. Now, one tiny mistake, something off by a fraction of a degree, and it will not work. 61-year-old Amir Sahimi's hearing problems snuck up on him. I denied uh, in my hearing loss for such a long time. He slowly realized something was wrong. I think I'm lo missing, you know, something. I'm losing my hearing. I, that, my friend said, it's not you have lost your hearing a long time ago. I said, what? He said, yeah, you haven't noticed that. We don't want to tell you, but you're missing a lot. That was 30 years ago. He's been using Hearaid ever since. In the beginning, he was very self-conscious. There is a lot of stigma, or I, when I was younger, to have hearing aids, so I wanted something totally invisible. Now, three decades later, his wish has come true. He's traveled across the country to have surgery to receive the first fully implanted hearing aid. They came from San Diego, California, so I've been searching for the last, you know, several years to find a place and I found out Dr. Seidman is a, you know, world famous. It's phenomenal technology that uses your own eardrum as the microphone. Dr. Michael Seidman is director of otologic surgery at Henry Ford Hospital and is one of only a handful of surgeons in the U.S. qualified to implant the device. It's the ultimate in microsurgery. Here's how it works. The surgeon opens the skull behind the ear to access the cavity holding the three tiny bones of hearing. Then they connect a microscopic sensor to the bone vibrating from the eardrum. A signal goes to the implanted processor and it sends another signal to a tiny moving arm attached to the bone sending vibrations to the body's own hearing mechanism. Essentially, the device uses your own eardrum, bones, and nerves, but it intercepts and amplifies the signal. And that opening is only about three millimeters, two to three millimeters wide by about three millimeters long. This is video of the actual surgery viewed through an operating microscope. If the metal parts are not attached to the bones in perfect position, the device won't work properly. It's so delicate. We have a clinical field engineer mandated by the FDA in every single procedure, and they are there, and after we do the main steps, they can verify that this indeed is going to work before you wake the patient up. Now, this is different than a cochlear implant. A cochlear implant is for people with complete deafness. This device truly is a hearing aid for people with poor hearing. The surgery takes as long as five hours, but compared to a hearing aid, it has incredible advantages, including a remote control. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can make it louder, you can make it softer, you can go swimming with it. So many times I have taken a shower for getting taken, the hearing it out, and just, you know, $2,500 pail went down the drain. And it's impossible to lose. My dog beat and chewed one, two pieces, you know, expensive one. For somebody who really does not like their hearing aids, is not getting benefit from their hearing aids, is not yet a candidate for a cochlear implant, that's the person who should consider it. it going to change my life drastically. Now the implant does run on batteries and they need to be replaced every four to seven years, but doing that is a simple outpatient procedure. Again though, here's one of the bones. It's called the incus. This is the bone that you saw the metal sensor being cemented to. Incredibly delicate surgery. Back to you. Nothing short of a miracle, wow, is it? that's just remarkable. The device is called the Esteem Implant. It's made by Envoy Medical. The price tag is pretty hefty, $30,000, but some insurance companies are starting to cover it. And you can learn more about the technology and the surgery. Just go to click on Detroit.com slash health. Science fiction. It, it, <laughs> it really is. is. Just remarkable. All right, here's a look at what...